Hello everyone, welcome back. We were solving the questions from BSDS sample paper 2024, 20, right? So we had done questions 1 to 7 and now it's the time to solve question 8. So question 8 is a sum on differential equations. Now this sum is very straightforward. You just have to solve the differential equation and then you have to use this initial condition y1 equal to 1 by e use this initial condition to get the value of the constant and then get the value of the constant to find the final solution and then just calculate y2 right so let us start how will we solve this equation we first rearrange the terms and then calculate the integrating factor all right so rearranging the terms x e to the power x dy dx that should be equal to On the right hand side, I'll have x cubed plus 2y e to the power x, right? I complete the division and I have dy dx. This is equal to x square will remain at the numerator and e to the power x will be in the denominator. And here e to the power x will cancel and I'll have 2y by x. Should be clear up to this point. Then dy dx minus 2y by x equal to x square by e power x now this is our differential equation so from here we'll calculate the integrating factor right i hope you all know this method it's quite easy integrating factor will be e to the power minus 2 by x dx the coefficient of the y term right so i could have put the minus sign inside the integration but it's a competitive exam so i decided to take it in one step and this will be e to the power minus ln x square right so if i take the minus sign there i'll end up with 1 by x square okay so simple operation on exponents and logarithms so multiplying by integrating factor let's do that integrating factor what do we have we have 1 by x square dy dx minus 2 by x cube into y of course equal to x square gets cancelled out right and I just end up with 1 by e power x right now I hope you can recognize the differential on the left hand side of the equation so just as an aside if I try to get a derivative of this is an aside okay try to get the derivative of y by x square so how will you do this one you will first fix y and you will have derivative of 1 by x square and then you will fix 1 by x square and you will have derivative of x so it will be dy dx and now if you take the derivative of 1 by x square what will you get x to the power minus 2 so it will be minus 2 x to the power minus 3 Right? So you have minus 2x to the power minus 3 means minus 2 by x cube y and 1 by x square dy dx. So that is the exact thing you have on the left hand side. right? So that is the advantage of the integrating factor. Now you don't have to show this. This is just a calculation of the explanation that I gave you. All right? So I can just simply write derivative of y by x square equal to e to the power minus x. That is our final differential equation. Now if I integrate it, with respect to x, what do I end up with? I have y by x squared equal to, for e to the power minus x, the integration would have been the same, but the negative sign is there. So it will be minus e power minus x plus c, right? The constant is there. So the final solution is y of x would be equal to cx minus x squared by e power x. Now we place the conditions that are given. Given y of 1 equal to minus 1 by e. Right? If I remember, yes, minus 1 by e. That means c minus x squared will become 1 squared, which is just 1 minus 1 by e power 1 equal to minus 1 by e which implies c equals to 0 therefore solution will be now y of x equal to 
minus x square by e power x. Since c is 0, the x part gets eliminated. Now what do we need? To calculate y of 2, y of 2 will be equal to c part is gone. So I have minus 2 square by e square, which is minus 4 by e square. Now that is the solution of option D. Okay, so this question is done. Now this was not a very tricky question. This was a regular question, but you just had to solve it by steps. Remember, when you are solving it in the exam, you don't need to write all the steps in detail. Since I am showing you the solution, I wrote the solution. But whichever steps you can skip or jump during the calculations without affecting the final solution, please do so. All right, so I'll be ending the recording here. Thank you all for viewing this. And if you have any doubts in the solution, please let me know in the comment section of the video. We will do a video of all the collected doubts and explain them together. All right. Okay. See you all in question nine. Bye.